Hello guys, uh, welcome to another video from Studio Serato Pilates. So my name is Caroline, welcome. Today we're going to do about a 30 minute class and it's going to consist of stretches only. So it's going to be more restorative in nature. Um, I know we're in a very, very stressful time. We're having to deal with a lot um, mentally, physically we're not moving as much as we should be um, because a lot of us are confined to the house. and. Uh, but I think a session of stretches is going to be, is going to feel really, really good. All right. So you don't need anything. Um, actually, you know what? No, I will be using two blocks to show some modifications. So you can grab two blocks. If you don't have blocks, maybe grab a pillow, a cushion, and we're going to start. So we're going to start standing and we're going to do a standing roll down. So I'm going to turn on my side. Arms are just nice and heavy. And let's take about five breaths and Position of the pelvis, try to think more of a neutral position. So you're engaging your glutes, your abdominals are drawn in. We're going to close our eyes and we're just going to breathe in and breathe out. Now in this position, I want you to start to take awareness of your body. How the body feels today. Are we carrying a lot of tension, a lot of stress in the body? And use your exhale to just release all of that tension, all of that stress. And again, one more time, big breath in. Big breath out, and one more time, big breath in, and big breath out. Now, raise the arms up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, down. Big breath in, big breath out, big breath in, big breath out. Last one, big breath in. Big breath out. Now we're going to reach the arms up towards the ceiling. I'm going to turn to face you for this one. And you want to really reach up like you're stretching in your bed in the morning time. And then maybe just go with one arm and then the other arm. So you're lengthening one side and then you're lengthening the other and then just reaching up and switching. And again, reaching up and switching. Now interlace your fingers together push up to the ceiling, really, really stretch. Now, if you want to, lift up onto your toes and really reach up high, 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 high. And then let it go. Good, so I'm gonna turn around, standing roll down. So you're gonna take a nice big breath in. Exhale, like you're peeling yourself off of a wall. You start to round the spine. Pelvis is more in a posterior tilt and you're rolling, rolling down. All the way, all the way, all the way. Now I know you're not going to be able to see my feet. So just keep the feet nice and anchored, toes pointing towards front. Let your body go. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale, slowly start to roll up. So think posterior tilt, drawing the tummy in. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way up. Now, if this is a little too intense for you because your hamstrings are very, very tight. Another modification would just be to sit on a chair, kind of at the edge of the chair. And then same thing, you're rolling down, you're letting yourself go all the way, all the way, all the way down. And then slowly come all the way up. So this is, this would be a nice modification for you to do. I'm going to go back to the standing roll down and I'm going to do one more. Exhale, I'm rolling forward. I'm scooping in my belly. Posterior tilt, I'm rolling all the way, all the way, all the way down. Let yourself go, let yourself go, let yourself go all the way down. Nice big breath in. Exhale, slowly start to roll up. Remember that posterior tilt. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way up. And release. Perfect, guys. So we're going to lie on our backs. So get comfortable. I'm just going to move my blocks out of the way and just lying down. Now let's warm up the shoulders. So I'm going to ask you guys to bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Now I want you to feel the shoulders move away from the ears and keep the shoulder blades anchored. Now on the inhale, we're going to reach up towards the ceiling. We call this protracting. Exhale, shoulder blades anchored, retracting. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come back. And again, inhale, reach up, exhale, coming back. And one more time, inhale, reach up, 
exhale coming back. Now from here you're going to scissor the arms. Now we call these arm marks, you're still keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And then you just switch. And just alternate guys. And switching. And switching. Give me one more on each side. So we're switching. And one more time. And we're switching. And come all the way back. Now I'm going to keep my arms up towards the ceiling and I'm going to go into a bridge position. Now I know most of the time when you do Pilates, bridge feels more like it's exertion. It's a strengthening exercise, but it can also be a great, um, it can be a great stretch because it really helps stretch your spine. So keep the shoulders away from the ears, press into your feet, peeling your spine off of the mat. Now keeping your bum engaged, you never want to let those hips drop, so keep the bum engaged. Now I'm going to reach my arms behind me. This is where you're going to get more of the stretch. Now keep those arms down, exhale, start to roll the spine. This should feel really yummy, <laughs> okay, it feels really, really nice. And then come all the way back. You can let those arms come back up to the ceiling. Exhale, rolling all the way up, press those feet into the ground, lifting up, take those arms overhead. Make sure you're never on your neck, you're on your shoulders. And then exhale, roll back down. Fantastic, huh? Okay, let's do that one more time. Nice big breath in. Exhale, rolling up. Reaching up nice and high, guys. Take a beautiful breath in. And then exhale, roll back down all the way. Very nice. Okay. Rest your arms down by your side. I'm going to ask you to lift your hips up and bring those hips to the left side of the mat. You're going to bend the knees, bring those legs in front of you. So this is a great spine twist. Now you can use your hand to press into the knee, open the other arm to the side, and now think of looking away from the knees. And just breathe. So big breath in, big breath out. I'm sorry, I'm looking away from the camera, right? And again, big breath in, and big breath out. And we can add one more breath to it, and big breath out. Awesome, guys. Okay, and slowly come back, center your hips. Now, bring your hips over to the right side. Let the knees go to the left. Can you open your arm? Take that other hand on top of the thigh. Now look away from the knees. Now I can see you. And we're going to take four breaths. Breathe out. And again, three more. And again, two more. And again, just one more. And come all the way back carefully. Center those hips. Hug those knees into the chest. Get into sort of a rounded spine. So bring the head towards the knees, knees towards the head. Big, 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 big squeeze. And let it go. All right, come up to a sitting position. I like to roll up, but up to you. Um, let's stretch the legs now. So. Now, for this, I would suggest you stay close to a wall if your balance is not great. Uh, if you have sensitive knees, I want you to roll up the mat, put a towel or a cushion. Okay, so we're going to start what we call the standing hip stretch. So I'm going to start with my right foot in front. Okay, good. So it looks like a lunge. It's exactly that. I'm going to send that right knee forward. Good. Now. I want you to go into a pelvic tilt, so I don't want you to kind of let the belly pop out. I want you to try to do the pelvic tilt and reach forward. Now, it's a hip stretch. You should feel the stretch in the front of your left hip flexors. And just stay. Now just hold it here. And breathe. So ideally, I always tell people, I tell my clients that a stretch should be held between 30 seconds to even up to a minute, even two minutes if you can. If two minutes feels like it's too much to stay in the position, work up to a minute and then switch sides and go back to the other side after. So in other words, you do two sets. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left arm and I'm going to add a mermaid stretch. Now this is optional, you don't have to do it, but if you feel strong, if you feel stable by all means, and if you want to add on, grab hold of the wrist and stretch. And breathe guys. And come all the way back. Now, before we do the other side, we're going to straighten the front leg. Now, we're going to, I'm lucky because I have my Cadillac to hold on to, but you can hold on to the wall. Now, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to try to get the stretch behind my right leg. I want you to try to send the right hip down towards the mat, so that helps squaring the hips. Now, if you can reach for the mat, go right ahead. If you can reach for the toes, maybe even further, and stay and hold it here. Now, don't forget about that right hip. Keep, set, keep sending the right hip back. And just breathe, guys. In this position, I'm avoiding any kind of slouching. I'm trying to keep my back as straight as I can. Good. Now, hold on to that wall and come out of the position all the way back. All right, you're ready for the other side. So, hip stretch. Send that knee forward. Remember, keeping the hip bones facing forward, pelvic tilt, reach forward. Good, and stay hold. So hopefully you guys are maintaining a regular Pilates routine on a weekly basis. I would suggest this session of stretching, you can do it two to three times a week. Now, we're going to take the right arm and we're going to reach it over and we're going to hold it there. Now, I don't know if you see I am shaking because this is definitely my weaker side. So I have to pay more attention to really keep the foot anchored. Now, can you grab hold of the wrist and can you stretch? So breathing, guys. Now gently come out of the position. Remember, we've got one more thing to do. We're straightening the front leg. We're on the heel, the toes are lifted. If you can, you walk your hands out. So I leave it up to you, whatever you wanna do is fine. And you're just breathing in and out. Try to keep the back straight. Now remember, I didn't talk about the hip. Try to level your hips by sending that left hip behind you. shell stretch. So separate the knees, walk your hands, send your weight onto your heels, release the forehead down to the ground and just breathe guys. So this is a great stretch. If ever you guys cannot sit back onto your heels, if it's an issue with your knees, if it's an issue with your lower back, you can always sit on top of something. If you have a block, a cushion, you place it right underneath here and you can sit on it or you can even put two and you can sit back. So it's really, I leave it up to you guys, whatever feels best. All right, now we're gonna lie on our side. So you're gonna face me, and we're gonna do what we call one of my favorites. It's called a book opening. You can have something to rest your head. I'm gonna use the block today, but by all means, pillow, towel, whatever works. And I'm gonna keep my knees bent, try to keep my back as straight as I can, and my arms are stacked. Okay, so I'm gonna start to lift the arm, and I'm gonna look all the way behind, so I'm following my fingertips. And then on the exhale, I'm coming all the way back. And again, lifting the arm, turn the head, follow the fingertips, open, 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 open the arm. And come all the way back. And again, once more, open the arm, Open, 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 open. Follow those fingertips. Big breath in. Exhale, come all the way back. Good. So I don't want to have my back towards you, so I'm going to turn the other way. Resting my head. Knees are bent. Legs are stacked. And let's go. We open. And come all the way back. And again, you can do two more. Lift that arm, open, 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 follow those fingertips. And come all the way back. 
And you got one more, guys. Just one more. Open, 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 open. Feels so nice. And come all the way back. And release. All right, so I'm going to do the diamond stretch now. So I'm going to lie on my back, resting my head. And I'm going to let my knees open out. And I'm keeping my feet together. I'm just staying here. So this is a really nice stretch for the groin area. You're feeling the stretch. You can even use your hands to just gently press open. Now, I'm going to offer you a progression for some of you who might not be really feeling the stretch. So I'm going to come up to a sitting and still dive in with my legs, feet together, knees open. And I'm going to try to stay as straight as I can. I can just gently grab hold of my ankles to keep the spine really straight. So this would be the other modification. Or if you want to go a step further, you can even try to walk your hands out and release the forehead down. So really whatever feels good for you, as long as you're getting that stretch where you're supposed to get it, right? And then come in all the way back. All right, so next part, I want to do a mermaid stretch. So mermaid, you're going to sit with your legs crossed. Now, if you need to elevate yourself, if you notice that your knees are kind of like this and you're slouching, you're having a hard time, I want you to sit on top of blocks and we're gonna take the right arm and we're gonna slide the left hand away from us, making sure that you're keeping your bum anchor and then you come all the way back. And again, same thing. Arm goes, reaching, and come all the way back. And one more time, take the arm reaching and come all the way back. Now let's switch. We're going to take that left arm and we're going to slide it, slide the right hand down and come all the way back. And again, exhale, slide and come all the way back. One more, guys. Exhale, slide the hand. and come all the way back. Okay, since we're in this position, we're gonna add a little bit of a rotation. You're gonna take your right hand outside of the left knee and you are going to rotate your torso. My other hand is behind me and I'm just trying to look past my shoulder. Now, I just wanna give an option. You can do this sitting in a chair as well. And I'm going to come back to center, take my left hand now, right hand goes behind, and make sure to push the hand against the knee, look behind, look over the shoulder, over, over, over the shoulder. And come all the way back. Okay, we're going to go do cat-cow. So for cat-cow, on all fours, exhale, round the spine. Inhale, look straight ahead. Exhale, round. Inhale, look straight ahead. Exhale, round. Inhale, look straight ahead. Two more. And one more, guys. And come back. All right, so figure four. We're almost done. Figure four. Now, traditional figure four is we're lying on our backs. I want to show you another version of figure four. Okay, so first I'll show you the traditional version. Figure four, you cross one foot over the knee and you take your hands behind your thigh. So you guys know this one, right? So this is our figure four. So if this one works for you, I encourage you to do it. Try to bring the tailbone onto the mat as you're doing this. You want to try to keep your back, your spine as long as you can. And then you're going to switch sides. Hands go behind. Okay, so. All right, now I'm going to show you another version. You're going to straighten your legs. Okay, now, again, if you're having a hard time, you can sit on top of something. I want you to cross your right foot over the left knee. So can you see how this looks like the figure four, right? So this would be the option. For some of you, this is going to be more than enough, which is fine. For the other ones who want to progress a little further, take the hands behind 
Now, can you start to bring your left foot towards you? So can you push your hands down and hold? Okay, now I keep sending my right knee down to the ground. I can add a little bit of a rocking motion if you want to, that's fine. Good, and then stretch the legs. Now get ready for the other one. So, cross over, and you can pull it in, hold it there. You're using your hands to really try to straighten up as much as you can. And then again, rocking from side to side. So it was a nice version. Okay, we're going to finish off with one last thing. Now, for this part, I'm going to actually have to stand on the Cadillac for you to see my, my feet, my lower legs. Um, I'm going to look like a giant, <laughs> so, but I'll show you. So, in the very beginning, we started with the standing roll down. This would be something to sort of follow that. So, I'm just going to go back to what I was originally doing. Exhale, I'm curving my spine. I'm going all the way down to the floor. And then I'm coming all up very slowly. Okay, so the next part to this is you would stay in the same position. I'm going to stand up. Okay, now I'm going to roll all the way down, all the way, all the way down. Now from here, we call this the bend and stretch. I want you to bend your knees, exhale, straighten. Bend your knees, exhale, straighten. Now the reason I brought along the blocks is... If you're limited in your flexibility behind your legs, you can actually, this is really cool, you can use your hands on the blocks or if you need a little bit more height. So this is a good option for you, okay? And then we bend and we straighten. Now from here, I want you to bend the right knee. I want you to lift your left arm up to the ceiling. Isn't this amazing? And I look up towards my fingertips. Good. Yeah. So think opposite. The op one knee bends, it's the opposite arm that reaches up, right? Come back to center. I'm going to do the same thing. Sorry, because I'm going to be turning away from you. Look up, 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 up. You see, you feel that all in your posterior chain. You feel it in the back of the legs. You feel it in your calves, in your glutes. And come all the way back up. And then you can go for a couple more bend and straighten, bend and straighten. And then you can come back onto the knees. All right, so one last little thing to finish off. A different version of shell or child's pose. I want you to keep your bum up in the air. I want you to walk your hands as far and as they can go. Bring your forehead and try to bring your chest towards the ground. So what's stretching right now? Your upper body, more into the arms, into the shoulders. Feels really, really nice, guys. And then slowly walk up, and then slowly roll down. So guys, the class is done. So thank you so much for joining me for our 30 minute stretch session and I will see you soon again. Thank you guys. Bye bye.